Hello Darts Nuts and welcome to Jack's Review Channel. Just recently I did a video where I was buying some limited edition target darts from Darts Hive in Japan using the global Rakuten market and the darts were delivered to the UK pretty quickly but they were stuck in customs for quite a while. I uh, finally got the darts though. Um, I'll just show you what's in the box. Basically it just came like that. That was kind of sellotaped the inside of the box. Um, I haven't opened that part of it yet. But basically I just wanted to let you know uh, the progress in, involved and how much the import tax was. And I guess when I did the video that might have been around £50 and I was pretty much spot on. Uh, I got this letter on the 3rd of January and I paid the import tax online and the dats arrived on the 4th of January. Uh, today is the 8th of January. I've had a call, I've still got a call so I didn't get a chance to do the update that quick. But import VAT was £38.52 and the clearance fee was £12 and that's from Parcel Force. Uh, some of the other couriers are often more expensive with their fees. Uh, Federal Express and TNT are usually over 20 quid, so Parcel Force is probably one of the cheaper ones. But I'll do a, an unboxing video of both of these when I get a chance, but I just wanted to update you on the, the progress and how much it cost me. So in total, it's cost me about £135 per set, which is a lot of money, I understand that. Uh, but like I said, I was only getting them because they were limited edition sets, there were 100 sets each. Um, I understand that there's a lot of limited sets in Japan, like, but because these are steel tip and I like the look of them, I wanted them and you can't get them in the UK. Uh, so that's basically the only reason, but it's quite an expensive process with the shipping and the import taxes. So if you ever buy anything overseas, you've got to be aware about that. Uh, other countries may not be as expensive with the taxes as the UK is, but chances are you're still going to have to pay... Uh, import taxes and um, sometimes when I've ordered from Japan I haven't had to pay tax I'm not really sure why it's just kind of potluck but in this case I, I had a feeling that it wouldn't get through because uh, it was quite an expensive item in any case but like I said I'll do a, an unboxing video of these and I hope you found the information useful and it was an easy process ordering from uh, Japan using the Global Rakuten website. Um, I may order other things in the future but uh, I'm going to probably pick something that's a little bit cheaper than this next time. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.